What's up YouTube? This is Tom from Textops here and this is a quick review of Takina's 11 to 16 mm f2.8 constant aperture lens. This is the ATX um, version or model from Takina which is the Advanced Technology Extra Series. Takina's top of the line um, lenses. Takina is an aftermarket lens uh, maker similar to Tamron and Sigma. Not as well known as those two brands but uh, well known for producing high quality lenses and in my opinion and many opinion, pe opinions of people on the net including uh, some of the review sites, Takina typically produces higher quality lenses than uh, Tamron and Sigma. This particular lens made in Japan, uh, made out of met metal, quite a heavy uh, lens itself, it's about 600 grams, about 19 ounces for the guys in the States, the viewers in the States there. Um, plenty of glass in here, this is a super wide angle at um, 11 millimeters for the APS-C crop sensor um, bodies um, which is the 1.6 magnification or 1.5 for Nikon, uh, 1.6 for Canon. Um, this is around 17 millimeters at its, at its uh, widest which is uh, or 17 millimeters for you know, equivalent to a full frame which is super wide. Fantastic for landscapes, also for indoor photography if you've got a dinner party or weddings or the like. Uh, at 2.8 it allows you to get plenty of light in. There's plenty of glass in here, so it's a solid, solid uh, lens, um, and it produces fantastic images. Super sharp, super quick um, focusing, quiet, uh, fantastic color in this uh, lens. Uh, it's just an excellent lens all around. You can't go wrong. If you shoot landscape or if you want a super wide angle lens, get this one. For the Canon, the competitor will be the 10 to 22 f 3.5 to f 4.5 Canon. So that doesn't have the f2.8 constant aperture um, or the Sigma 10 to 20 f4 to 5.6. This is a superior lens to both of them, in my opinion. For about 600 bucks US from B&H, it's, uh, it's a bargain, it's a steal. I've got a number of lenses, Tamron, Canon, and uh, Takina lenses. My Canon ones are L lenses, the luxury uh, lenses. This one is my favorite lens out of all of them. I'll put a disclaimer in there that I do shoot a lot of landscapes, so I do appreciate or enjoy the super wide angle um, component of this lens. Uh, getting into it, released in 2008, made in Japan, all metal construction, rubber rings here for the zoom and focus. It does have a little window there for um, your focusing ring, so letting you know what distance you're focusing at. Fantastic thing about this construction or the um, structure of the focusing ring is if you push it in there, it's on autofocus. You can twist this around, doesn't do a thing. If you pull it out, manual focus, um, and it works there. The rubber rings uh, allow you to grip the focusing rings quite nicely, um, but also have a really nice, uh, <laughs> really nice uh, zoom mechanism or, or feel there. Another thing to notice is that it doesn't change in size. So as you zoom in or out, it doesn't really change. It does move slightly uh, with inside of the uh, filter ring actually um, or filter thread but it uh, it doesn't actually change the size of the lens so it doesn't go outside of that nor does the filter thread uh, twist or rotate as you zoom or focus so you can pull a polarizer in there and it won't move um, what else metal mount there as you'd expect for Takina's top of the line uh, lenses um, and a lot of aftermarket and Canon and uh, or Nikon lenses. 72mm um, thread, so it's quite a large filter thread. One thing to keep in note when you're uh, looking at lenses and that have a large thread is uh, they are expensive. So if you're buying a filter, UV filter or a polarizer is even more expensive, you could spend 100 to 200 bucks for a good uh, B&W filter. So the larger the thread, the more money you have to spend. So keep that, uh, keep that in mind. But I couldn't uh, recommend this lens enough. Uh, if you need a wide angle lens, if you need a quick wide angle lens, that gives you great image quality, doesn't have much distortion and vignetting is not really a problem, get this lens. I'll post a link on uh, attached to this video on the sidebar to my Flickr site. You can check some of my photos out and you can see the quality of this lens. I also did an unboxing of this lens uh, a couple of weeks ago. I'll post that link also on uh, on the sidebar there so you can check that one out. It does come with things like the lens hood. Um, I explain sort of the dual cl uh, clasp mechanism for the cap, show you the box, etc. Um, but that's it. 
six hundred bucks from B and H. It's a bargain in Australia. It's roughly around eight hundred bucks. Tougher to find than Tamarons in Australia, but uh, if you can get your hands on it, I'd recommend you do so. Um, let me know what you think of this lens or other lenses. Uh, if you enjoy the video, please uh, give me the thumbs up on the little button there and let me know you like it. If you don't, let me know you don't, um, and I'll uh, try to fix the videos or change them to, to your liking. Subscribe to my channel if, uh, if you enjoy it. But until next time, Tom from Tech Stops here, and I'll see you soon.